Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to talk about procrastination. And I know that you spent a couple hours yesterday scrolling on your social media, right? So here are 10 tips for you to stop procrastinating. Tip number one, it is to create a schedule. That's why I talked about creating a checklist a couple days ago, because checklists are very important. See what you want to achieve in the long run and that's why you have to always have a checklist or you know you have to do a schedule because you want to know what you want to achieve in the long run and that's why number two breaking your big tasks into smaller ones you have to aim for progress and not for perfection look what i do for instance that it is when i do the recording of this video i don't look for perfection what i like to do is to always try to record in one shot i will commit a lot of mistakes for sure but then i will do some editing on my computer and then i will post this video because my final goal it is to post on youtube tip number three it is to avoid distractions i would take myself for instance again because what i want to show to you is what i like to do when i'm doing the script for this video i like to do in the morning so what I do is to leave my phone here in this office room. Can I say it like that? Because this is like my office room right here. Uh, what I like to do is to leave my phone over here and turn it on the, to not disturb. And then I would take my iPad to my bedroom and start scripting. And because Apple has this connectivity things, when someone calls me, I can answer on my iPad if that's necessary to answer. But if it's not, I will start scripting and I will finish the scripting first, then I will start doing the editing. So do not disturb, it's very important and avoid distractions. So tip number four, it is to use some techniques. You can use a lot, there's a lot of productivity techniques on the internet, you can choose whatever you want. I like to use Pomodoro technique and it helps me a lot. So that's why tip number five, it is to avoid burnout. And how can you avoid the burnout? Is by taking regular breaks. And Pomodoro Techniques helps me a lot with that. And number six, it is to set deadlines. But try to finish your task before the deadline. And what do I mean by that? For instance, what I like to do is, my final goal it is to upload this video on YouTube. But what I like to do is that my final goal is to upload at 7 p.m. So I have until 7 p.m. to scripting, do the editing, do the recording and everything. What I like to do is to first break into smaller tasks. The smaller task it is the scripting, the recording and the editing. And then I will use the schedule to see how long I would take to do each task. So what I like to do is to, I will start my scripting, I will start the recording and then the editing that is take the longest, I would try to finish in two to four hours at tops because in this way I can schedule the uploading to YouTube and then I will have time to do my other tasks that I have on the day like meetings and other things and tip number seven keep it simple ask to a close friend to watch you closely to see your progress tip number eight if a task takes less than 10 minutes do it right now don't leave it for later just finish as soon as possible and number nine I like this one take cold showers i know that this is a cliche nowadays on the internet but cold showers can release a lot of dopamine and when you are increasing your dopamine levels it can regulate your mood your motivation you know your focus and even your pleasure to keep doing the task so tip number 10 is to reward yourself so after you finish the big task that it is for example in my case it is to upload this video try to reward yourself I, I don't know, maybe watching some movie, TV series, playing some video games, I don't know, whatever you like to do to pleasure yourself. And by the way, a bonus tip, if you're procrastinating or avoiding to go to the gym, start working out on your home. You can do some push-ups on the floor, you can do some pull-ups, I don't know, in the beginning it would be hard, but you can do push-ups, you can do abs, you can do a lot of workouts, even squats on your home. You don't even need to leave your place to work out so start doing that and then try to always increase the time that you will spend so start by doing like i don't know maybe 
10 push-ups a day, do it for a week, then you can move to 20 push-ups, then 30 push-ups, I don't know. Then you can combine some exercise like push-ups, squats, and abs. And I don't know, maybe after a month you can go for a heat and you know you can do a combo of workouts so that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found this video very helpful don't forget to drop the like subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed yet and see you on the next video